Hello. Thanks for dropping in. This morning, and it is early in the morning, um, I lose track of what I did here, but I'm going to load Discman 2. This may be a mistake. We'll see. Okay. This is okay. But you know what? I think... I think I'm going to instead load, oops, but of course, the A is an issue. So, I think this is a better one to alter and then resave. So, what I'm talking about is the the backup command it is backing and then I will change this to back D zero to D one. So let's see what we do. We set the time at zero. X is zero. ER is zero. P is zero. We clear the screen. We say P equals P plus one. Keep track of how many times it goes through. Then we initialize drive zero, and we print. Well, we print and clear the screen about what's the status of DES and X and TI string and error errors. And we do the same thing with I, uh, drive one. We print it and then we say formatting. Aha, we do not need this. Not that we'll get rid of it. We'll change it to a remark. R E M. There. So then, now that those are remarked, it will tell us that it's backing up. It'll back up T0 to D1. And it will do it until it gets a successful backup. Which is, of course, what we're interested in. And, of course, the thing to know about the backup command is, much like the copy command, it's all inside the machine. All of it. Now I'm going to check this. I have the disk. I have the disk. And now I'm going to, oops, desave, quote, oops. Um, Backup. We'll just call it backup. So this little program is saved. And we can check if we catalog D0. And there it is. Backup. Alright, so. It is time. We will run. So it's initializing. Oh, it's having a little trouble somewhere. Oh no, but sorry, that was not having trouble. It was formatting. Doing the head banging on drive one. Because it is formatting drive one.
So, and of course, what's different about backing up and copying? Backing up is basically a BAM operation, block allocation map. If an area is empty, it copies it. If an area is full, it copies it. The whole way, just like track and sector, track and sector, track and sector, that's what it does. Over and over and over. Now in this case, we're hoping it just goes through once. But it may not. These um, well, I'm using a test a 1541 test demo disk and also a disk that I use to back things up with. And we'll see. We will see. But the command is very nice. And you know, if you were writing a program like I've got this thing tied up doing things, but if I did want to back up a disk while I'm writing a program, I just type in backup D0 to D1, or backup D1 to D0, and I can keep writing. I can keep doing things. It's only if you try and do a catalog, or check the, draw, the error status, or something like that that would tie up the bus, that the computer then says, no, I can't do anything. I'm looking for this disk drive, and it's busy. Yes. Oh ho. I hear a bang in the distance. But is that going to be a game changer? Not necessarily. We'll see. What this will do, if I remember rightly, is it will try to copy. Uh, ten times. And, sorry, back up. It will back up ten times. But when it gets one that has no errors, it will stop. In some ways, I'm kind of surprised we never did anything like this. Way back when, in the T-Pug days, when we used tons of 4040s to copy disks. <laughs> Mind you, we only had one machine issuing... Oh, it says it's okay. Are we all done? All done. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let me just look here. We are saved up to date. Let me look here. Hang on here. See this thing here. Oops. This. This was made for the fifteen forty one. And it was supposed to check the disk. Let's see what it likes or what it doesn't like. Now, this may go faster than the 1541. It might. Bang in the head. Or it may not work. Remember, this is not a 15 Pro. Oh. We have a read error. I am going to tickle the drive. I'm going to let the head bang. And I'll close the door. Now remember, this may, there may be a, it may not be happy because this is not specifically for this. 
but I don't know. I don't know. Well, we have a headbang. Probably it's going to come up with a reader. Maybe. Maybe not. I seem to remember. Well, you know what? There were different versions of this program, too. I seem to remember, though, that it would come up on the screen and tell me what it was doing and where it was doing it. Oh my. But, perhaps not. And this program, if you see the way it's formatted, it was also set up to work on the VIC-20 and the 64 and... Oh, okay. Now, now we're cooking with gas. And I think also the idea, according to what the listing said there, is that if it does find bad blocks, it will indeed set them aside and not let them be used. Now, remembering the 1541, this is going way faster. Way faster. Now, interesting thing is, I look down here. The error light is flickering ever so gently. Like, just barely noticeable. But it's doing its thing. And we're already about. Well, uh, I guess approaching a quarter way through the disk. If you set this up with a 64 and a 1541, it generally takes like more than an hour to go through. And that's a long time. Like I wouldn't even think of sitting here. I, I just figured that this would go faster. And it seems to be going. At a pretty good clip. And yes. It's funny. The error light. I'm just trying to. Is it going by every block? No it's not that often. But it is. It's a steady. Very. I've never really seen the error light. So. It's so quick. That before it starts it's almost done. The drive light is lit up. Oh, I think we found something. And then it carries on. So the block allocation map, or the BAM, is um, what the disk has on it to keep track of where things are. And every, every time you save a program, say you're saving something that's 10 blocks in size, it makes sure that the block allocation map knows what it is. And I think at the end of every track and sector, uh, there's an information that tells it, uh -oh, that tells it where to go next. That's why if when you do a quick format on things, it doesn't actually format. It just undoes the links. So the stuff is still there. It's just the pointers aren't there pointing. Oh, we are getting there. <laughs> All 
Oh, I sense another head banging is about to happen. Nope. No, nothing yet. But we're getting there. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh. Uh -huh. Head banging. So the idea behind this is then, oh yeah, if there are bad areas, you can still keep using this sort of like, you know, in the old days of, well, I'm sure the same thing with actual real hard drives is, um, they were never perfect. They would just make sure that whatever was bad was allocated never to be used, but you know, they were so big anyway that if there was some small percentage of the drive that was not usable and marked thusly, didn't really matter. It did not. So I am pondering my next move in the pet room here. And, you know, maybe... As time marches on, it may be time to actually uh, I am I am torn. Very torn at this time into what to do next. Because I do like working on the machines. But also I've gotta I'm just on the move here. I've gotta get set up. to um to shoot the picture the family portraits and get it done so that then i can very freely carry on fixing tinkering puttering but if it comes time or somebody is interested in buying something then I, I don't I don't have to wait till I've done the family portrait because I've done the family portrait. So as I look over here, there are some things that will stay in here. I am uh, I've got other non-pet things in here that are mostly boxes and they will be used to fill some of the neutral space. Um, various versions of the 64 box and the 1541 and the 1541 2 and the Vic 20. There's even a couple of Amiga 2000 boxes. There is. We'll see where they end up. We'll see. And then there's my lamp. My ugly, ugly lamp that I think if it stays, it's got to be somewhere else. I think. Oh. Well, that's funny. It says no bad blocks. Hmm. Well, good. No bad blocks. So I guess whatever issues it had, it was able to resolve them. So I will type in new. And I'm going to be daring. I'm going to load in the backup program. Whee! But I am going to make a change. Oh, how daring this will be. I'm going to change it from D1, Ooh. D1, 
to D1, 2 D0, and I'm going to change the command to back up D1, 2 D0, and then I'm going to D save. If the keyboard would not bounce back up, D1, Oh, D. I don't have that much space. D1. Maybe I do D1. D0. Quote. Comma. D0. Can I do that? Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. I have the driest doors open. Hang on. And actually, I want to save it. On drive one because I have swapped the disks. Okay, it is done. So as I look over the listing, I think we're okay. So it's time to run. And it is now formatting drive zero instead of drive one. I don't know why, but there was sort of this normal inclination to always do D zero to D one. Don't know why. Just was. It just was. Uh oh, I'm just looking outside. I set something up to record. That's the nice thing about this microphone. Oh, and my battery is getting low. I was afraid of this. Now I wonder, while it was doing that, was it recording nicely? And the answer is, I don't know. So I think I'll stop this. I was doing a candle thing. I'm going to blow it out. And then I'll see. All right. We are backing up. And it seems, so far, to be going okay. And I think, quite possibly, this other recording did okay. So if you look at the time, it still has its six second thing. No errors, and it is backing up. So hopefully, any moment now. Okay. Okay. It's funny, you know, I think I could change this program a little bit to make the timer 
keep on, like the clock keep on telling you how long it's been. I think I could, perhaps. I will experiment. Anyway, we have backed up a disk. We have checked a disk. Oh. Um. Hmm. I wonder. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a program that it'll show us the block allocation map. So I'm thinking, is this just doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff on it, that this, these areas are empty. But soon, aha, ha, 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 soon we will find otherwise. So it does seem to have fairly efficiently stored things. Around the middle of the disk. Oh. Nope, that's enough. Boy, that's loud. Funny, it did leave kind of a thing open there. Uh, is there anything else magical that we could do? Well, it's funny, as I look at this thing here, I think that DOS 5.1 is for the pets. You know, I think maybe a little copy all. Let's see what it comes up to here. It should work. It was written, indeed, by Jim Butterfield, a magical man. Okay, it's still... There's something open on the drive, and I don't know why from that. Perhaps I will reset the drive. I don't know why it would have left something open. Okay. So I think this is the last thing we will do. We will run. And we're going to go from 8, 1, to 8. Why did it not let me pick that? Did I hit the wrong thing? Okay, hang on. Run eight one. Oh, maybe the eight key wasn't working. Yes, fifteen forty one. Test demo. And the ID we'll call this time JB. I think I have that right. So it is formatting. And then it will copy things. Now this may not be the fastest operation in the world. And chances are, 
well, certainly faster than the 1541 and the 64. But still, um, you know, the formatting takes as long as it takes. And then it will try and copy the files. And these, by the way, most everything we're using here is on the 1541 test demo disk. The only things that aren't standardly on the 1541 test demo disk are the programs I have been writing. Okay, pattern. We want everything to be copied. Hold down. Okay. We'll hold down the Y key. But we could. If there was something we didn't want copied, we could do that. And away she goes. Oh yeah, this is faster. Mind you, these files are not large. But this is faster. And the drive lights go on and the drive lights go off. I'm looking down at my phone and I think it's running through a thing to see if there are things that need to be updated. Interesting. So we are, oh, we're almost done. I don't know what that random fial is, but this is not the time. Anyway, we're almost done. So, um, copy is a great command. Backup is a great command. There's lots of helpful programs on the 1541. Oh, dear. On the 1540. Oh, no. It's a reader. On my program. Uh, yes. We're going to do that again. We're going to put in, see. well, I asked it to find the programs. Oh. That started with B, and it did. Let's see if it's going to do that one this time. Oh, and that time it did it. Another input is ready. No. And if we catalog, we will see that it did work, and we know it, it, it did change the It's now 1541 test demo, and the ID is JB. By the way, the ID is a two-letter thing, and it is best when you're working with a bunch of disks to always have that something unique and different. Because if you are swapping disks around in the midst of things, the drive does use that to, to, to detect that you've done something. As in, swap a disk in and out. So... As far as you know, it can be letters, it can be numbers, it's just two things. And just, you know, it's not like a, a huge thing, just, oh, wait a second here. Okay, hang on here. Do you see what I see? Well, no wonder it went so quickly. It didn't actually copy. Now that may be. See, this is typically. Let's do that again. It's typically. So here's the 1541. That's in drive one. This is typically made for. Oh my. Oh dear, 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 dear. This is made 
to rerun on two different devices. It's not really designed to go inside of the drive like this. So maybe if I had two drives hooked up, it would go well. So what am I going to do? Well, because I realize now that it did not really do what it said it was doing, even though it said, but once again, I cannot fault the program because it really is not made to go from one dual drive. It's It's really set up and that was the beauty of it. If you got two drives and you got one that's eight and nine or 10 or 11, you could pick. It's obviously set up typically to work on device eight and device nine. Anyway, I'm going to re back up this disk, make sure that it's all well and good and fine. And I have this program running that will tell me when it is copied well. Yes. Anyway, I think. But that is enough for now. So thanks so much for coming. Keep your stick on the ice. Hope you're safe. And uh, enjoy life in the world of Commodore. And I think, yes, I think I have lots of things to do. But I think what I may do is, um, in the pet room here, is really start to um, well, funny, you know, I've got a bunch of them on the floor stacked on each other, and that's not bad. It isn't, because not every machine is going to be shown perfectly. But I should rearrange the boxes, and I've got other Commodore paraphernalia around. And the other day, I kind of put my scarf up on a machine, and it fell down behind, which I was quite... Like, oh, and uh oh, things are banging. Anyway, and I have some books and other stuff to find spots. Anyway, maybe, I don't, well, the other thing I have to do is go into the pool room and grab more disk drives. And is it essential they be in here? No, it isn't essential, but I would like it. I would. So, let's see. Anyway, the disk is backing up, and I have to do stuff. I also have some other things completely unrelated to do, which I really need to set aside a day and do. But is today that day? Well, I don't think so. I've got to set up and take pictures of some things I do but yes I have to pick the day there is an expression you don't pick the day the day picks you well in this case I have to pick the day and then once I get everything set up in here then um, then I do have to tinker with the lighting and certainly unfortunately my ugly lamp will not be part of the helpful lighting. It won't. Although, if I can find a spot. Oh, are we done? Are we done? We are all done. Yay. If I can find a spot to have it somewhere, then I will. But it won't be turned on. It'll just keep being the ugly lamp. Ugh. All right. Thanks so much for being here. <coughs> it is much appreciated. We'll see you again soon. And maybe, probably by the time you see this, hear this, and maybe enjoy, learn a little bit from it, the family portrait will be taken. It will be done. It will. But right now, It's time to eat. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.